So today I'm making carnitas in a crock pot. Now here I have a little over four pounds of pork shoulder roast, or you might know it as Boston butt. This was boneless. And what I did was cut it into large chunks. You could go ahead and put this in the crock pot as one whole piece, but I find cutting it into large chunks works out a lot better later when you go to fry the exterior. I'm also going to be using one large navel orange, four cloves of garlic. I'm also using bay leaves. You could use two to three. Mine were sort of broken. And I will also be using one Coca-Cola. You could add the entire bottle, but I'm going to use around a cup to a cup and a half. I'll also be using one tablespoon of coarse salt. If you're using fine salt, maybe start with a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons. So I'm just going to add all of my ingredients into my slow cooker. In the last recipe video for carnitas, I made them on the stovetop, and it definitely is another variation to carnitas at home. I did add evaporated milk. I will say that's optional. I left it out today. And you can also season your pork meat the way that you like. If you want other aromatic flavors in this, go for it. This is just something I'm doing today and it's very simple. Okay, so everything is in my slow cooker. I'm going to cover it with a lid and now I'm going to set it to high. I will be cooking this for the course of five to five and a half hours or until it's tender, but it still keeps its shape. You don't want this falling apart in the slow cooker because later I am going to fry these for about five minutes to get golden brown and crispy on the outside. And if it's falling apart and shredded, once you fry it, it'll make the meat dry. So it's been around four and a half hours and I am going to check how tender it is. And like I said, I do want it tender on the inside, but I don't want it falling apart. So I'm just going to give this a poke with a very blunt end chopstick. And it does go in, but it's still a little too tough. Not quite where I need it to be. So I'm going to let this go the full five and a half hours. Okay, so my carnitas are ready. They are tender on the inside, but they still hold their shape. So now I'm just going to remove them from my crock pot. Okay, so all of my carnita chunks are out of the crock pot. So now I'm just going to fry these until golden brown and crispy on the exterior. I have preheated oil over a medium heat. This should take no more than five to seven minutes. Now I have golden brown, crispy, tender carnitas. Once you press on them, they start to shred and fall apart. That's how tender they are. I am going to make tacos. I'm just going to warm up corn tortillas. Here I already have them. Now I'm just going to top with fresh onion, cilantro. I also will be using a green salsa that I blended with one small avocado. It's a very creamy green roasted salsa. It's very good. I will link my roasted green salsa in the description below or somewhere here in this video. And if you want, just make that salsa, add one small ripe avocado and you've got a delicious creamy green salsa. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.